Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool, and Olight's got a new O knife they're calling the O Tackle U1. And yes, that is carbon fiber. It's kind of a carbon fiber wrap or cover on top of a G10 scale. Now, this knife is a utility knife with interchangeable blades, and yes, it did come with a Work Pro blade. Uses kind of that uh, Benchmade esque cross lock or axis lock. Simple design, it's got a deep carry stainless steel pocket clip. And let's take a look at the blade here. You release it by turning this set screw here. They call this a rail lock system. And there are places, or there is a place right here where the notch fits in. So you can uh, feel a pretty secure, uh, see how it holds it down at this corner, but then you can feel a pretty secure lockup even before it's tightened. So it, it's not gonna pull out. But that also allows you to do a couple other things. You could put in specialty blades, like cut a lot of boxes or carpet or something like that. These are a little thicker, so you've gotta open that up a little bit more, but there seems to be plenty of room given the set screw thickness there. You can drop that in uh, and cinch that down. Now, if you're a little concerned that that isn't enough. You can always get a little, get your vampire brutes here with the uh, screw holding and then just snug that a little bit. Um, and then get that, I guess I could turn it with my hands first. Um, and then just get it so it's nice and nice and tight. Actually, I don't even have that set in, that's why. You can see that there's a gap there. I need to loosen that up and Roll that up in, there we go. And now I can tighten that up and you're good to go. So I've got a specialty knife now, you know, for ripping boxes, tape, paper, carpet, whatever it is, closes up just fine. It's a kind of an elegant design, so you wouldn't mind carrying it. It's not like a box cutter or other traditional utility knives. You know, Gerber, this is kind of more of a piece of art. It's a little heavy. Um, and requires a screwdriver, but similar there. And obviously Fiskars, uh, this is one of my favorites, but it's certainly much larger and I never use this pocket clip because it's so deeply seated here that it's hard to work with. Uh, this it does have a lock, so you can flip it back and forth. No blade in this one because I took that out because that's probably the blade uh, style I will use here. Spin that thing out is throw a Fiskars in there because I really like the um, the durability of the Fiskars blade. You can also put a carbon fiber, or not carbon fiber, excuse me, ceramic blade in it. These are notorious for being a little too thick to fit in a lot of other utility knives, but I can just loosen this thing up a little bit more. And then this does drop in. You can see right there. I look for that little place where it fits up against the top of the rail and get it all the way in seated there we go and then i can cinch that up don't want to crush the blade um, but just to make sure this is there we go nice and snug so now i've got another specialty knife with the otackle l1 but anyway olight is or the old O knife part of Olight is really pushing the utility blades. You know, they've got a bunch of different styles and kinds. I've shown those in different videos. So I'm glad to see them working on something like this that's almost like an EDC, everyday carry kind of uh, utility knife where you can easily swap the blades but still have sort of that elegance of um, a nice carbon fiber handled. Uh, you can see how that one's a lot looser now because it's so much thinner. Carbon fiber handled axis lock utility knife. And with that, dock out.